this all about? Oh, darling, we're so happy you're well. Indeed, and she owes it all to your nursing. <laughs> A mother's love is worth its weight in antibodies. I'd move heaven and earth for my girl. This may sound dumb, but what was wrong with me? You really don't know? No. Lying at the gate? Odd place for me to be. Poor Daisuke was so frightened when he stumbled on you. He was frantic. No one knows how long you'd been out there. But hey, it is what it is, right? At least you're safe now. You must have been beside yourselves. I'm so sorry to have scared you both. I can't apologize enough. Now, that's enough. No need for that. It's all water under the bridge. The fact there's nothing seriously wrong is all your mom and I care about. Of course, that's all that matters. No harm done. <sighs> hmm. There is still the small question of who deposited you on our front doorstep without knocking. Do you have any idea who it could have been? <sighs> Sakura? The bane of wicked men. Yes. You don't think it's right to kill in the name of justice, do you? No, I don't. No one person should have that much power over life and death. I agree with you entirely. Not so much as a cinder. I was lying. <gasps> Kill me just like he killed those guys. If that's true, then what could have possessed him to let me go? Whatever you're playing at, Ogumi, I'll find out. Ugh. Hey, I'm talking to you! Okay. Fine. Look, if you're into the new guy, I can totally respect that. But you're out of your gourd if you think I'm gonna let you ignore me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to ignore anybody. I'm just a little out of sorts. Mm. It's okay. Alba's here to listen. Especially if it's about you and Ogumi. As a matter of fact, it is. Last night, we... Something you'd like to share with the entire <gasps> class, ladies? Ah, we're just chatting about girl stuff. Quit eavesdropping. Little hard not to when you're right here. Come on, let a guy in on the gossip. <gasps> mm-hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd say this was just a ploy to sidle up to Sakura. Oh, yeah? What makes you say that? Well, I don't see anyone else trying to shoulder in on our convo, do you? Uh... It's all right. I won't let him touch you. Uh, okay. If he lays a hand on you, you'll burn. Is this like some kind of weird love triangle or what? I think somebody's jealous. Not cool. Give it a rest, Romeo. You can't have Sakura and Alba. This is the worst day of my life. Sweeney, you're talking like a crazy person. The guy didn't ram a hand up my skirt. What? No, that isn't what I mean. What do you mean then? <laughs> An explanation would be nice. I feel like that outburst entitles me to one. You bastard! He's testing me to see if I'll expose him for the homicidal freak he is! If I spill the beans, he'll burn me, along with everyone in the room! Settle down, folks. Take your seats and at least try to act interested in the material. We're waiting on you, Miss Sakurakoji. Uh, sir, can I just... Yeah? Uh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. There's Miss Nut! 
Good job. <laughs> Jeez, you didn't have to go tearing off without me, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, I... Not good. I can't afford to have him think Alba knows anything. What has gotten into you? Cover all you want. I'll give you absolutely no reason to strike. Sakura! Seriously? Now you're eating by yourself? Over my dead body. Alba. Oh. Move away. I can't have you near me right now. Kate, what the heck is going on with this whole attitude? Are you deaf? Go away! All right, if that's what you want. No, I'm sorry. It's not what you think. I just... Uh-huh. Sure. Look, I wasn't born yesterday. I know puppy love when I see it. <laughs> You're afraid I'm going to cramp your style. No! That isn't... Don't worry about it. Alba, wait! It's not like that, I swear! Ah, oh, hello there. Can I help you? Ogami! Oh, you... You and I need to talk about something privately. We can discuss it when you escort me home after school this afternoon. <laughs> Doesn't waste time, I'll give her that. You gotta admire her style. Not a dude in this school wouldn't drop trowel if she asked, and she goes with a noob. Yeah, sure. It'd be my pleasure. Okay. When this is all over, I'll tell you everything. I promise. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go. Have a life. Just play it safe. Promise me? Everybody's cat. His heart is where it's at. No kitty's too fat or furry. He'll protect them in a hurry. Yan Maru, Yan Maru. Oh. Dang it. I only have enough for one more. Oh well. No Yan Maru's left anyway. Um, excuse me, sir. Aren't you forgetting something? Nope. I don't need them. Huh? I just rescued the kitties. Not my place to take them. Uh... Oh, hey. If you were on fire, what color do you want it to be? Um, wait, what? I think I would pick blue. It's really the prettiest out of all the flames. Is it really necessary for you to walk behind me like you're my warden? As long as it's necessary for you to act like a criminal, I'm afraid so, yes. <laughs> so how exactly do you propose talking this out? Yan Maru, Yan Maru, the bestest friend to me and you. Kitty has a bit of him inside. Just ask a friend, they'll say it's true. Nyan Maru? Nyan Maru! Nyan Maru, Nyan Maru! Playtime's over. Time to work, Yuki. Your code 03. And this is your mission. This ought to do. You're not gonna try anything in public. The more eyes on us, the better. <laughs> I want the truth! Did you or did you not kill those members of the G-Falcon gang? Or is your power some kind of illusion? Well, answer it's me! It's real. They got what they had coming. What are you gonna do about it? It's not like I'm hiding the fact that I'm a killer. Hold on! Do you not hear how you sound or do you just not care? 
We all have a job to do. You said yourself taking out the trash was a noble profession, right? Yeah, so? Well, that's exactly what those G-Falcon gang members were. And it's your job to remove them? Every one of them was a cold-blooded killer. Oh, I see. Fighting fire with fire, of course. What gives you the right to judge? I told you I'm a bad man. I recognize my own. Wait! If you believe that, why go on being evil? Why not seek some kind of atonement? Atonement? That's right. You could be a productive member of society. <laughs> You're a funny girl. Why are you laughing? That wasn't a joke! <laughs> Ogumi, you... You really have zero concept of what you've done by taking another life. Yes, they were evil, but you denied them their chance at atonement. You done? Is that all you've got? Good talk. See ya. You're heartless. After what you did, how can you act like it doesn't matter? Don't you feel anything for the lives you took? You monster! Otaku, sweetheart, what's the matter now? Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have raised my voice. Oh, please don't cry. It'll be okay. Drop something, little man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, mister, let's get you home. Say bye-bye to the nice man. What is going on inside that head? I don't get him. Ogami, listen. I know you don't want to hear this, but the fact of the matter is there's simply no good reason to kill another human being. Fine! You're just lucky no one is judging you! How could they? See, the trouble with all your moralizing is that it assumes I exist, but I don't. Strictly speaking, I'm not real. Kind of puts me outside the law as you know it. I could kill everyone on this block, including you, right now. And your sense of right and wrong still wouldn't apply. It doesn't matter, it never will. Innocent or not, I could easily burn you all. Here, in broad daylight, the whole world watching. You won't do it. You can't. Stop it! What the hell? Let me get some water. Whose bag is that? observation over the course of this afternoon I have concluded that you're a rare breed what exactly does that mean one minute you're prepared to kill everyone in sight without batting an eye right here in public now you act like I'm some sort of project I demand that you give me an explanation seriously like we're not on the same wavelength here you know G. Falcon was responsible for the death of at least one man, and you caught them red-handed beating up another. How many lives have been saved because of what I did? If you had your way, though, they'd still be out there now, killing. How dare you! I had no choice but to burn them up. Animals like that don't repent, ever. So it's my job to give them the next best thing. I'm a ghost, a dweller in the shadows. I'm a code breaker. A what? What does that mean? We've all wished another person dead, right? 
Come on, don't play innocent with me. There must be someone. Stop this. That's crazy talk. Wishing doesn't make it so. Even if it did, that isn't the point. Resorting to murder makes us no better than the person we kill. I know. That's what I'm telling you. What are you? Enough of this! You're out of your mind if you think I'm intimidated by you, so go on and stalk me. Just keep in mind that that works both ways. I swear to you by the Sakura Koji name, I shall follow you to the ends of the earth, protecting the lives of those you would judge. So be prepared. <laughs> Why are you laughing? So full of fire. You're a fascinating person, you know that, Sakura. I mean that. Still, though, you're not the only one who can make an oath. Expose me, and it won't just be you who burns. Everyone you tell, everyone they tell, all of them gets silenced. The hell they will. I'll never allow it! Whoever, whenever, wherever, that is my promise. I'll burn them off the face of the earth. Am I paranoid, or is something seriously wrong? It certainly isn't like her to be so quiet. Nothing you're capable of doing will ever stop me. That look... It's the same look he wore while playing Executioner. Alchemy... Is life so black and white to you? So cheap? Was the same look on your face as you killed the dog? Was that just part of your job? Damn you. There must have been some feeling in your eyes at that moment. Wise, sir? Allowing him to bring someone so unpredictable into the fold? Oh, their power far outweighs any difficulty we may have in bringing them to heal. And besides, we are not without our collateral. If things turn unpleasant, we have ways of re-establishing the status quo. What is it? What's the situation with Sakura Koji? Oh, is that? I think I'll keep her around. Not every day we find a rare breed. You're certain? That she is one, I mean. Absolutely. She's immune to my flame. Never seen that before. We can't eliminate her yet.
What happened to you, man? Why'd you just run off without a word? There was work to be done. I couldn't let myself be chained. So you on a killing spree or what? That's our Yuki, straight as an arrow. Always calling it like you see it. I love that about you. <laughs> Honestly, I thought Ogami'd be the first one to come take a pot shot at me. Hold up, number one. If you really want to be the one to judge me, don't let me stop you. Eye for an eye. Tooth for a tooth. And a requiem of fury for all evil. Next time, Codebreaker Episode 3. Angry Valor, a Graven Hammer. Beware, evildoers. I will not rest until every trace of you is consumed by fire.